Alright, welcome once again to HeroQuest fans. So this was a last minute stream decision. Uh, originally, <laughs> I said no streams this weekend because I had plans. My plans changed. Ended up I wasn't traveling this weekend after all. So I basically just spent time working on my painting. On my painting and craft project. And then Jacer showed up and suggested, hey, maybe we still would have time play a little hero quest so as you can see on the upper right corner I've got the dice rolling box and I was gonna have it so that we could all have our own dice like if you have your own set of dice you can just uh, roll but tonight it's a little quiet we're just gonna I'm just gonna roll for everybody That's more or less right. So let me just change my screens up here. Oh yeah, we're listening to Carl Casey, White Bat Audio. It's kind of what we started off with. You know what? I think we'll just uh, switch over to the uh, usual music that we listen to. This is Alexander Nakarada, royalty-free music. Or familiar for our hero quest fans and then we'll uh, just shut off the discord window because we don't need that right now so Jay sir I don't know if you can hear me or not but if you want to hop into the discord the voice channel for discord So I've got a short HeroQuest game going if anyone wants to join. We're using the companion app again. Hop into Quest Talk. Twitch.tv slash HeroQuest fans. Okay, popped out the player window. Let's put it back in there. Okay. Ah, there you are, Jacer. Okay, so Jacer, are you just going to be typing? It's going to be a little tougher because you can't actually take control of the hero. I still have to move him. We may not get very far. <laughs> I mean, we'll try. Why not, right? Glad you're here. Okay, so this is the Frozen Horror Quest 8 Search for the Scepter, Part 3. Let's make sure it looks right on screen. There. Oh, not new quest. It's not what I wanted. Search for the scepter. Yeah, you can have one saved game per uh, per party. So, and I'm not sure how many parties you can make. Probably a lot, hopefully. All right. So when we last left, last left our heroes, they'd done a lot of damage. So yes, I put extra mercenaries at the door in case people buy them. You can use your channel points, uh, your gold coins. In the chat, if you're playing with us live on Twitch, you can buy potions for heroes. You can buy bonus monsters for Zargon, which are a little tricky to handle, but we can do it. We can make do, because the app uses the honor system. And otherwise, it's Jacer and I having a quest. The quest to find the Scepter of Glacial Majesty, which is the only thing after it's been destroyed, that can allow us to kill the Frozen Horror, the big bad guy of this campaign. 
All right, so we'll, in the this upper gray room, yes, I realized, oh, we can zoom way in. We've got a scout at the doorway. We've got this ice tunnel. We've got this crossbowman. As you move down, this was the character I forgot to put in last time. There's a halberdier. And I can control all the mercenaries if you want. There's a knight here. And just to look at his stats, this was Angus McBain's character. But right now, it's Jacer. He's got three attack, six defend, five body. He's down to five and two mind. We've got the barbarian. So this is going to be me. I was Carningal last time. There's a Kurgan. Four body, or sorry, four attack, five defend, two body, and three mind. Now he does have a couple healing potions, so I think he'll be fine. Uh, Jacer, I'm going to just tell you what the barbarian has. Just to remind you, he uses the great sword, which attacks with four dice, two black and two white. Uh, Molly the murderess can also attack diagonally. He's wearing a helmet. He's got the cold iron plate which he only moves uh, one die, one red die for movement. Uh, but it prevents him from having stuff stolen. He's got the snowshoes of speed, so that's plus two squares of movement. He's got his skills, the mighty blow and faint. He's got 100 gold coins. He's got a potion of icy strength, potion of defense, potion of strength. He's got holy water, healing 1d6, that's 1d6, healing plus four. Two speed potions, which double his movement. A potion of dexterity, which gives you the plus four squares of movement or a guaranteed pit jump. A potion of magic resistance. He's wearing the amulet of the north, so his body point maximum is actually ten. But he's only got two left. His mind point maximum is three. Um, and then, let's see. He's got a toolkit, the armband of ice, which protects him from most ice damage. And then the knight, who is also going to be Jacer today. Three attack, and three attack at range. Six defend dice. Uh, five body, two mind. He's got a shield that's stowed. He's got a helmet. He's wearing plate armor, which no movement penalty. Spiked shield, which I forgot in the last game, it does protect you from getting grabbed by a yeti. So if that happens, we'll just say it's not happening. We'll just break the hold immediately. It's got Fortune's Longsword, which hasn't had its magical ability used yet. That's one re-roll of one die. Once per quest, he's got the Longsword. Crossbow. Ice Queen Spear, which is three black dice against Polar War Bears. Uh, still got his Knight's Challenge and Stalwart Skills, but the Shield Block has been used up. He's got 150 gold coins. A Potion of Warmth. Two Holy Waters. One Potion of Magic Resistance. One Healing plus four. A scroll of warmth that restores three body points. A toolkit. And let's see. Oh yeah, the halberdier has lost one body point. And one of the crossbowmen, who we affectionately named Robert Paulson. His name is Robert Paulson. He has taken one body point of damage. But the other, crossbow the other two crossbowmen and the scout are undamaged. So they have two each. So I'm controlling the alchemist aka the wizard right here and so he's got two attack dice two black dice actually because um he's using the alchemist staff and diagonal attacks the alchemist cloak so he has one green die uh, he rolls four total dice because he has the uh, bracers so one green three white um he's yeah down to two body points so He's got the uh, the different spells. He's got fire. He's got air. Oh, and I forgot now. Do you say earth? Fire, air, and earth. Yeah, I think fire, air, and earth, not water. This was Darkhawk's character. This might get a little confusing. Hopefully not. 
Okay, and he's got a Wolf Veins potion, potion of speed, two uh, uh, potions of plus four healing, strength potion, a healing D6, mental elixir scroll, which restores all lost mind, mind points. He's got 45 gold coins. And so he's used two of the fire spells already. So he's got Ball of Flame left. He's used Tempest out of the air spells, but he's still got Genie and Swift Wind. And then he has all three earth spells left. And if you're using the alchemist equivalent, you can uh, figure those in. Now the rogue. He has one attack die, two defend die, because he's got just the dagger and his bandolier, which is functions as a toolkit and serves to have, give him basically infinite daggers. Uh, always equipped with the dagger. He's down to three body points out of his maximum of five. He has four mind points, despite what the character sheet says. So in the app, it's actually wrong. But I fixed it. So it says two. It's actually four. Okay, and he's got 50 gold coins. The alchemist has 45. So the rogue, uh, he has his skills, which are passive, so they're always in place. Ambidextrous, opportunistic striker, and combat mobility. So uh, he can basically pass through monsters at any time. And... He has the ability to, if he strikes with a dagger or short sword, but he don't, doesn't have that. He just has a dagger. He can make a second attack with a dagger that's unblockable. Now, since we're using my rules, I suppose it would just be like two attacks. I mean, it would make him weaker, but it's like basically a two dice attack. And then they roll defense against the whole thing. Um, also, if he attacks... An enemy who's adjacent to an ally, he can add one combat die. So that's helpful. So yeah, basically he would get a three dice attack over the course of, you know, multiple attacks. So he's got 50 gold coins, like I said. He's got a potion of fire resistance, which isn't much help right now. But then he's got a plus uh, four healing. So the, the play order that we've got right now is the Barbarian first, then the Knight. So Jacer will take two turns. Uh, then we've got... Myself as the alchemist, and then the rogue. So, hope you got all that, Jacer. Um, so, right now, the rogue has been making his way. He had to jump through all these these pit traps, almost said hoops. <laughs> um, he made his way here, and then there's this uh, treasure chest room, which already has been searched. But, I mean, I haven't searched it. Um, over here, we've got the... Well, see, they had to leave the room, go into the hallway... They go into this this green room here, and this this room hasn't been explored. This one hasn't been explored, but we've got everybody was going through these ice tunnels. So we've got the scout and the crossbowman, and then that that ice leads to the southern room here, which is where the alchemist popped up. And we've got two crossbowmen, the knight and the barbarian, versus this yeti. The yeti, it's fully has got his full strength. So, bar attacks. Yatay! Alright. I hear ya. Okay. So, you're attacking. And I'll roll for ya. Two white, two black. Just get my screen here so I can actually see what's happening. Okay, so that's two skulls. Enemy defends with three. No defense. So. Okay. Mole. <laughs> so he's got uh, three left. All right, should the Barbarian move at all or stay put? I mean, all the effects of courage and potions from last time have completely worn off, just so you know. Move on to the uh, Alchemist. All right, so he just came through the... Uh, 
the ice tunnel. I could attack. I don't know. Should I use magic on him or should I just attack him? Because it's a two attack, but it's, you know, it's fairly decent. I mean, I could, I could land a strike on him. I think what I would do is land a strike on him and then move. Move away. Pop another uh, loss into your. Sorry. All right. Sorry about that. What do you think? Because I feel like this is a long quest. It's a long quest, and I don't want to use up all my skills yet. All right. Let's just uh, give him a good old uh, old fashioned attack. The Alchemist Staff. One Skull. Enemy Defends with three. Three White Shields. <laughs> Too bad he's not a hero. Okay, so no, no defense. Alright, and I think I'm going to move off. So let's see. I'm going to keep him within range, but I'm going to move back to the safe position here. Because, I mean, yes, I've got healing, but not much healing. All right, Knight. Now, one thing I, I noticed is you might ask yourself, do I have line of sight to the monster? Well, there's one way you can find out. Click on Actions. This is when you're using the Companion app. Go to Use Artifact. Even if you don't have it, you can just use it to see if you have line of sight. And go to the Rod of Telekinesis. Say Use Artifact, and it'll say Target Monster. So you can click on the monster. I'm going to click Cancel, but that proves that he can shoot him from that spot without hitting the Barbarian. Not saying you have to, Jacer, but I'm just saying there's a little tip for you. Open fire! All right, just shoot him with a crossbow. Three attack dice. And he is not the wandering monster of the quest, so you don't get any champion bonus. Two skulls. Monster defends. Ching! And then one hit. So he takes one damage. One left. Alright, knight, are you going to move? Or stay put? Are you going to do anything else? Protect. Okay, so when you say protect, what do you mean? Oh, continue to protect the alchemist. Good idea. Okay. Yeah, and so since I'm on your team too, it's like, I, I agree. Alright, so what are we going to do about all of these uh, mercenaries? I mean, I'd say we should just start shooting these crossbowmen. I mean, at this point, it's kind of like... I mean, last time I was having a hard time keeping track of which one was which. Shoot the Yeti. We could just say the knight. I mean, he's the commander uh, of the Guardian Knights, so he's used to commanding people. We could say that he's just got them all. And in fact, that's originally how it was. So, okay, so the first crossbowman. Let's see, is this Robert Paulson? I wish you could rename him. Yep, this is Robert Paulson. I'll shoot at once. <laughs> Heroic feat. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um, okay, so if you move a guy through the ice tunnel, he's going to, like, that ends his turn. So he won't get to fire at once. But are you saying an uncommon feat to have these guys both shoot at the same time? Like, do a really strong attack? Let's try it. Okay, so if it's a skull, it succeeds. Which just say they would get a, a double attack. A big attack. If it's not, it'll just be normal. Skull! Hey, hey. Okay. So we'll say it'll be a six dice attack. <laughs> That's nasty. 
But I mean, if they weren't all your mercenaries, I'd say nah, maybe not. Wow. One, two, three, four, ah, 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 four skulls. I don't think he can beat that. <laughs> nope, he got three white shields. So he power power bound himself through a table just about now. He's he's uh he's dead. Overkill. Got him. All right. That may be just an issue with blue stacks, but I mean I have the the music and the voice volume like to nothing in the on the app and I can still like kind of hear them with the volume turned up to maximum on the on my computer. So, they're not truly muted. Nice shooting, guys. All right. Okay, so we got those two. What do you think? Should we move the other uh the other henchmen into the room? Or should we like cuz I don't know. I they always say never split the party. I mean, look at all these rooms. There could be tons of monsters and traps in there. I feel like we should all stick together. Even though it's a big big group. You agree? Yeah, cuz this Zargon guy wants us all dead. All right, so enters the icy tunnel, ends your turn. All right, and whoop, let's have the scout go in there too. I keep I keep forgetting scouts can search for traps as well. So the halberdier, I suppose, should move, should continue on, or the halberdier could back me up in case I get a wandering monster. Actually, yeah, there's only one square. I'm thinking the Halbider can strategically, because if I go in here, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be like sneaky man. So I'm going to move this Halbider here. She didn't really go through that. Is that intangible furniture? <laughs> I didn't think I had that selected. Do I? No, it's not intangible furniture. Weird. Okay, so I guess you can move through treasure chests. That's not supposed to be. Okay. But then, um, let's see who's left. Just make sure I'm not forgetting anybody. Do we have any other? Oh, they're all dead. All dead. Will not be forgotten. All right, the rogue is going to go in here, and he's going to have, like, a little shield. So when he searches for treasure, a wandering monster shouldn't be able to hit him. Unless they somehow have a diagonal attack. Alright, so I'm going to search for treasure. Draw the card. Gem! Tucked in the toe in old boot, you find a valuable gem. The stone is worth 50 gold coins. Guess that's a custom card, so plus 50. So I've got 100. So far, so good. Alright, Zargon's turn. Nothing for him to do this time. Hero's turn. Okay. Barbarian. Let's roll your movement. Six. Plus two, so you got eight. Where will you go, Jacer? Treasure. Oh, okay. Searching for some treasure. Poison! You discover a brown flask filled with liquid. Your throat constricts as you taste it. You realize you've swallowed poison. Roll one combat die. A skull means you lose one mind point. 
You are unharmed on any other roll. Okay. Skull. So you lost a mind point. So the barbarian... Well, he better be careful, because he's at three. So he's down to two. Of course, thankfully he had the amulet of the north, which boosted him up to three in the first place. Let's see, does he have anything to restore mind points? He does not. I think the only person that has anything that restores mind points is the alchemist, who has the mental elixir. So it would restore him to maximum if it was needed. Because if he goes down to zero, he goes into shock. Which means he... I think he only defends with two, attacks with one, and he has one die of movement. So I guess he wouldn't be that... I mean, his... Movement wouldn't change that much. But they say artifacts can temporarily increase that. Well, anyway, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Okay. So, but your turn isn't over. You can still move. Do you want to move it all, Jacer? You've got eight. To the door. Okay. Should we open it? I'm going to say... Actually, I don't know. I guess it could go either way. Because he is a big hulking brute. I mean, he's still got... Well, he's got two body points. He's gonna, he's, But he's, he's able to heal himself. He's got two healing potions. Of course, one of them might be, like, no good. Because it's a 1d6. But, I mean, we can heal him. Open. Okay, let's do it. The adventure, nothing gained. Be brave. Okay, so the alchemist bench. I don't see any monsters. Looks ominous, though. Could be traps. Could be a trap. All right. Alchemist... Five. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'll at least cover you. Hmm. It's tempting to search for treasure. I'm gonna do it. Hazard! Ah, dang it. While searching, a hidden arrow shoots from the wall and strikes you. Lose one body point. And your turn is over. Okay. I'm down to one. Oh, that's not good. Of course, I've got three healing potions and my healing spell. Or my healing alchemist ability. Knight! Nine. Nine for movement. What do you think, Jacer? Okay, I see what there's a bot in the chat. Move to the new room, searching for traps. Okay. Let me just ban this bot real quick here. There we go. It's another great thing, thing about streaming. You get to kill some bots. Alright, new room, searching for traps. Okay. Six squares. Hopefully that wasn't a trap there in the doorway. Searching for traps. No traps. Okay, so at least we know it's safe. 
All right, mercenaries. Uh, let's see. So we've got our crossbowmen, scout, and then the halberd air. What do you think, Jacer? Have them wait? Oh, okay. All of them? I mean, I feel like the... Well, I think the halberd air is going to cover me as the rogue. No doors? Yeah, there's no doors. We'd have to see search for secret doors with a hero. Yeah, there's no doors in that room. Of course, where would it lead? It would either lead to this room that we've already been in, or it could lead to this hallway that's in the fog of war. Oops. Because our goal is we're trying to find the scepter of glacial majesty and destroy it to weaken the frozen horror. That's our goal in this quest. But leave no stone unturned. Okay. All right, so my turn. Five. All right, I'm going to search for secret doors. Use my action for something. No secret doors in that corridor. Not that there would be, but I guess there could have been one to that that central room. Sargon's turn. Oh, whoops. Not yet. Yeah, the Halberd Air still needs to go. Let's see. Halberd Air. Six squares. Sargon, nothing. Barbarian, one. So you've got three total movement with the snowshoes of speed. What do you think? Go into the. I'd say go into the room and search for secret doors, unless you got a better plan. It almost looks like they scanned the plastic furniture, painted it, or they painted it, scanned it, and then just kind of like ran a Photoshop filter over it. It's interesting. All right. No secret doors. Okay. So we just know it's a treasure card room. Alchemist. Oh, man. I don't want to kill myself searching for stuff. It's tempting to get treasure, but I just don't know. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? At least I know there's no traps. Risk. Five. Oh, I could put myself in the corner to make it less likely that I'd get hit. Maybe. Oh, in the other room. I see what you're saying. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Let me just withdraw. Okay, so search for secret doors in the room we're currently in. I get it now. Okay, I'll just move here. And then I'll search for secret doors. No secret doors. Okay, at least we've eliminated that. Okay, night. Eight. All right, Jay, sir, you got eight for the night in the room that you're in.
traps. We already searched for traps. There weren't any. It still lets him search, but I assure you. <laughs> Treasure. All right. Sounds good. Potion of Warmth. This miniature jug is warm to the touch, drinking the potion immediately after suffering damage from ice storm or chill spells, or from icy vaults or icy rivers, restores two lost body points. Drinking it at any other time restores only one lost body point. That's a Potion of Warmth. For the night. So he's now got two of those. All right, you want to make your way out of the room then? I'd say let's head back to one of the explored areas. Back up to... I mean, you got eight total squares. If you go through the ice tunnel, you're going to appear up here to the north and end your turn. So do you want to go through the ice tunnel? Or stay where you're at? Okay. Might as well, I figure. Oh, it doesn't let you go in when there's somebody else on top of it? Come on. Mercs too. There. I had to move the Merc first to be able to get you through there. That's just a limitation of the app. Okay, there you are. Yeah, because they can't search for anything, so they might as well go through. Yeah, it's like we're controlling a big army. I mean, you need it in these quests. These are not easy quests. Okay. Now, let's go to the rogue. I mean, I could keep searching for treasure, but I don't want to kill myself either. I'm pretty damaged. I'm just not a tank yet like you guys. Ten. Where does that ice tunnel lead? I'm kind of afraid to go down there by myself yet. I think I'm going to meet up with you guys. What do you think? Should we head north to one of these rooms or should we head east? Or do you think we should go out back into this corridor and explore this way? Because there's a corridor to the east as well. North? Okay. Which are you thinking? This uh, this room in the upper corner here? Or this room to the right of it? I mean... More treasure. More monsters. <laughs> We're trying to find the path that takes us uh, there. In other words, should I go into the room you guys are in? Or are you coming to me? Upper left. Okay, sounds good. Let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it's a limitation of the app. I'm just going to go here. I'm not going to open the door yet. Or should I? Because I haven't done my action. <laughs> Blarg. <laughs> Thanks, Jartsa, with the uh, zombie. Now, Jartsa, when you're doing that, are you trying to buy a monster? Because if you're trying to buy a monster, there's actually a specific way to do it. In the chat. Oh yeah, I gotta move the halberd. 
You've actually got to go to where it says send a message and right below it, there's a little treasure symbol. You click on that and it'll say viewer rewards. So, so can I show you on screen? If that's what you're trying to do. So let's see. Ah ha Bonus monster for Zargon. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much like that. Um, so the only problem is that the app doesn't actually let me choose what monster. But what I can do is... Oh, this is going to hurt me. Search for treasure and just automatically click Wandering Monster. Okay, Jacer, the Wandering Monster is attacking me. Do you want to use your knight skill, your challenge, knight's challenge, to have him attack you instead? Since you've got five body points and I've only got three, I'm <laughs> asking you please. All right, thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, so now you get attacked by three ice gremlins. Oh, no. Three ice gremlins versus a zombie. I mean, I would have liked the zombie too. I honor it, but this is the app. So Knight's Challenge has been used up. <laughs> okay, so two hits. But you defend with quite a bit, last I checked. You defend with six. That's five white and one green. Oh, that's the Wandering Monster of the quest. So oh, when you attack them, you'll get a bonus. Okay. Um, okay, so one, two, three. Three white shields. That's a wrestling move. All right, Jacer, what, what have you got for me? Perfect plex. <laughs> perfect. Okay, so he does Mr. Perfect's perfect plex. Slams him to the mat. Uh, and that's um, that's one hit automatically. Plus, we're taking your defense. So you defended everything. I just got to remember which one. The Ice Gremlin attempts to steal an unequipped item. The item stolen cannot be the armor or shield you're using, nor a weapon you're wielding. Do you have an unequipped item which can be stolen? Yes. The Ice Gremlin has stolen one of your unequipped items. The item stolen can blah blah blah. Remove the item from your character sheet. Okay, so we'll just pick one at random, I guess. Um, gosh, you've got so much stuff. Let's see. One, two, three... Or no. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You've got like thirteen items. <laughs> Warmth that's on top. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. So we'll cross off one of those. I mean, the way I did it, that stuff isn't gone forever. It's just you're going to have to find the treasure room that has it all stockpiled. Okay, so he grabs the item. And he runs away. Oh, he, he escaped. Shoot, because he went down the ice, ice tunnel. Next one attacks. Okay, one skull. Oh, wow. Okay. Once again, three white shields. You defended everything and he gets a hit. Well, that's easy to remember, so they both take hits. Uh, wrestling move. What are you going to do to this uh, poor, poor sod? <laughs> Oh, 
million dollar dream i'm kind of forgetting how what did he do for the million dollar dream was that the one where he he chokes the guy out and stuffs a hundred dollar bill in his mouth or am i i don't really remember what the million dollar man did I mean, really <laughs> oh it's like the dream like he goes to sleep oh i'm a millionaire and he really is just unconscious okay so we're gonna that's a hit boom that's a hit. Boom. From the wrestling move homebrew house rule. Okay. So after all that, it was actually my turn that triggered that. So unfortunately, it's going to be Zargon's turn again. Um, oh, wait. He didn't escape. He's right there. He's he's on top of the ice tunnel. He should be able to escape. That's, that's, a, that's a glitch. Just because the other end of the tunnel isn't revealed by the heroes... Because otherwise I should be able to just attack him from here. It seems it feels so cheap to do that. You know what? I'm just I'm just gonna make a note and send it to N Carmine. He he said he named the two guys that were working on it, it was like Dave and Steve, I think. So I just want to shout out those guys at Avalon Hill. They're doing a great job, but there's a glitch right there. Um, monsters not being able to take ice tunnels. Take ice tunnel when other end not revealed unless the ice gremlin ran out of movement let's see one two three four five six seven eight yeah but the monster should have escaped fine they didn't program it into the thing it's like the monster chose not to not to go there so all right we'll attack him News you lose. That's two skulls. Monster defends. Get your potion of warmth back. No defense. It's two hits. He's going to escape on the next turn anyway, unless we get him. We've got one body point left. All right, Zargon's turn. And now, if he doesn't run away this time, we'll know that it really is something they forgot to program in or didn't know how to handle. Sargon's turn. Hello. How is he attacking? Oh, he's attacking the knight? Oh, I forgot. That one's still there. Oh, okay. So he did escape that time. All right. Never mind. I was like, the ice gremlin has fled with your item and it is lost forever. Not forever. Not forever, forever. Forever. Yeah. I... Sometimes I forget that there's other monsters still on the board. I'm so focused on the one. That's why I'm bad at Warcraft. Okay. Roll your defend dice. Two uh, two skulls. I have a feeling you're going to pull through. So you knight defends with six. Uh, two white shields. Perfect defense. No wrestling move that time. All right. They both attacked, or... Oh, I was supposed to roll a second time, I forgot. Uh, that time he got one, two, three, four white shields. So we're going to say a wrestling move on one of those. Name a wrestling move. Sorry, I guess I'm getting a little tired. Got 45 minutes left. Am I right? Or am I right? Am I right? Right, right. Stunner. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> Bam. All right. So this one takes a hit. I need some uh, some Steve Weisers or something. Okay. That alchemist bench should have something good in it. If I were Zargon, I'd definitely make it so. Okay, Barbarian. Tunnel, okay. Heading towards the tunnel. 
four, so that's a six. All right, Barbarian goes through. It's quite a group there. Um, he could attack that Ice Gremlin there. Molly the Murderess, it's got a diagonal. Oh no, it ends his turn. Darn it, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I forgot. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, I forgot. My bad. It even said that, and I clicked so quickly. Okay, Alchemist. Okay, this time... I'm gonna say that because I'm the al <clears throat> because I'm the alchemist, I can draw a potion card when I search for treasure. That's normally how I would play it. All right, so let's get my movement here. Three. Since I didn't declare it beforehand, people are gonna be like, "Oh, he's cheating." It's like, no, no. That's how I. That's how I tend to play. It's one of our house rules. I should do a video just on the house rules we do, just so people are familiar. Because we have been using them for a while. I mean, you know, we've tweaked them a little bit over time. But they're more or less intact. Just get my potions deck out here. It's his table. That's right. Darn tootin', it's my table. Okay. So I got three. Just enough. Alright. Potion of Air Walk. Enables any hero to walk on a cushion of air for one turn. It does not spring any traps during his turn. He can walk over pit traps as long as he can reach an unoccupied square on the other side. So, as you may guess, this is from Mage of the Mirror. Potion of Airwalk. And what would be the alchemist equivalent of this? Zip line in a bottle. Just like Batman. So. There we go. And yes, there was a wrestler called Airwalk Spriggan, who was also known as Amazing Red. Just get out my Mighty Blow and Faint cards from earlier. Alright, got to stay on target here. Just got just a little over 30 minutes left. This has been fun, though. Thanks for playing, Jacer, of course. All right, next, the knight, the brave knight. Eleven. This one goes up to eleven. Attack and block the door. Okay, so do you care which one you attack? I mean, this one to the right is more damaged. You want to attack the weaker one? Attack the northern one. Okay. Not waste his attack. And uh, which weapon are you attacking with? You got Fortune's Longsword or the Longsword? I mean, I guess you could use the Ice Queen Spear, but it would be weaker against these monsters. Fortune. Fortune 4. Two skulls. Bonus to... Oh! Yeah, you're right. So this one should be... Well, you know what? It's a black shield. That would be the same as if it was another skull. If it were a black die, because it's three skulls, so we'll count it as three skulls. Good call. I, I forgot. Yeah, you can simulate black dice on white dice by counting the black shield as a skull. <laughs> Didn't got him! Yeah, the, we're having a problem with the sound alerts. Hey, video game theater and music, welcome. Ha! <laughs> got him! 
Welcome, sir. Welcome, Strange Bus. Yeah, we were doing, uh, nobody showed up, so we were doing uh, a craft stream. I shouldn't say nobody showed up. I mean, some people, lurkers. But then Jacer got here, so we were playing Hero Quest. I don't know if you want to join in. You can, or if you're just lurking, that's fine, too. Alright. No defense, so. You did get him. Just hanging. First time I have had it myself in a minute. Oh, okay. No problem. Open fire with crossbows. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you stopped by. Hope hope things are, are well or getting better for you on the home front. Okay. So we've got Jacer's uh, crossbowmen. They're going to have to move into position. This guy should now check out th this out. You can go actions. Oh, may not use artifacts. Whatever. Okay, but he can hit him from here. You can use an artifact called the Rod of Telkinesis to see if you have line of sight. It's just that the mercenaries can't use artifacts. They claim. I don't agree with that. Why can't you just hand him one and he can use it? Whoa. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to count it because it's the only skull. <laughs> I mean, it did land like perfectly. It didn't like bounce off somewhere else. Everybody saw that? Is that legal? <laughs> okay, so that's one skull. And if I was Zargon, I'd be like, nah, come on. All right, so monster has to roll its defense. No defense. Got him. One ice gremlin got away with a potion of warmth. Okay. Alright, so second crossbowman, what should he do? Another one bites the dust. Should we head to that door again? We're going to explore this door to the north. Well, yeah man, I could. If you wanted to chat uh, privately, that'd be cool. Sure. Move up. Okay. So can you do, take a shortcut? Do you want to go him to go all the way up to the door and open it, or because he could attack? just that he'd be right in the doorway. Let's see, is this Robert Paulson? Yes, it is. This is the weak guy. <laughs> just some dope stuff I ran to want to chat about. Oh, sure. Sure, that sounds great. Okay. Uh, so other than the crossbowman, we've got the... Oh, the third crossbowman. Let's see... Well, I was. Didn't didn't that update? It should have updated. Hey, Elberg. Yeah, I was doing Space Crusade uh, painting and craft before. Yeah. So I, I adjusted an OBS because it can access the chat and everything, but it might not have updated on the page. If that's the case, I should go in and change it because I'm not trying to trick anybody. Like, oh, Space Crusade, I don't care about that game. All right, Stream Manager. You see, I, my scene says Frozen Horror Q8, Search for the Scepter Part 3. But good to see you, Verg. It's been a while.
Yeah, the text says that the game category says otherwise. See, I changed the game category, though. Oh, you're right. It does say... Ah, it says Space Crusade. Oh, man. Okay. Edit stream info. Yep, still says Space Crusade. I changed it. They told me they fixed it. All right. It done. There we go. Now does it say... Now it says Hero Quest. Well, thanks for the fix, Alberg. Yeah. We don't want to get in trouble for uh, advertising the stream as something that it isn't. That can be problematic, as they say. Okay. Where were we? Um, okay. So we moved that guy up a few. He could go a few more. So, Jacer, do you think we should breach the door with this guy? This is the one that has two body points. Halberdier and Rogue. Okay. All right. So we're not going in there yet. Yeah, because everybody else has moved on, except the alchemist is kind of like left behind. All right. Doubt that would happen was watching something else and mouse over looking what else to watch. I realized that you were doing hero quest and I tuned in. Well, I'm glad. Thank you for that. Okay, so the rogue, the rogue heir of Elithorn. He hasn't gotten to, gotten to do much. He's basically just done the lance a lot, like running towards the camera thing over and over while the music dramatic music plays <laughs> like what is he doing five you know before i didn't want to open the door you know what i just got to be a hero i don't care if he's a rogue he's got to do what he does i'm gonna open the door six chaos warriors Oh, there's a weapons rack. Okay. That doesn't seem threatening at all. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going in. Search for traps. No traps. Okay. All right, Barbarian. Five. Well, plus two, so seven. All right, Barbarian, you got seven. Okay. Yep. All right, so here, since it's a weapons rack and they just say a card, I'm going to let you uh, draw an equipment from the equipment deck. Equipment card. I happen to have the equipment deck here. I think these are equipment. Let's see. Well... Actually, these aren't even ready. Let me go grab my equipment deck. I'll be right back. I'll get the one, the proper one. All right, one second here.
I printed these off long ago. So, equipment deck. I'm going to shuffle these up. Let you draw a piece of equipment. All right, that should be enough to ensure randomness. Buckler. Okay, yes, this is a custom, so. Ah, and it makes it's too shiny. Let's see. The small metal shield grants you one extra white combat die in defense. Combine with a sword, and when you attack or defend, you may count one white shield rolled as a skull. May not be used by the wizard. Resale value of 138 gold coins. Basically, I'm saying it doesn't impede anything like the regular shield would, so it's actually better than the shield. It's a unique item, so buckler for the barbarian. So your defense goes up to six. With Molly the Murderess. Hmm, it is a sword, but it's a great sword, the biggest <laughs> weapon of all. Of course, it's your only weapon. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe he shouldn't be able to use it. But he could give it to somebody else. Like that uh, rogue standing next to him. What do you say, pal? Old buddy, old pal. Old buddy, old buddy, old pal. <laughs> it's up to you. Yeah, because I guess I was thinking like broadsword, longsword, short sword. Can he use a shield? Oh, that's a good question. Let's look at his hero card. Doesn't say. All right, I'm going to have to go dig it up. Just a minute. Nope, you're right. Uh, it says he can't use metal armor or shields. So I guess that's any type of shield. Okay, well my homebrew rule did not, inter did not uh, anticipate that complication. Okay. So, never mind. Um, the rogue can't use it. So I guess the barbarian just can hang on to it for now. The alchemist can't use it either. I mean, the knight could have it, I suppose. Okay. Well, anyway, um, after the barbarian, alchemist. Three. Oh, that's pretty silly. One, two, three. Turtle back the buckler. <laughs> yep. So just stow it for now. I mean, a buckler is pretty small, but yeah, it does. You're, you hold it in your fist. It's almost like a, a giant steel glove, sort of. Could be. Like a little plate. 
Alright. Night. Two. I'm getting some bad rolls now. Alright. Send the knight towards the room. Easy enough. Any action? I can't remember if you've searched this room or not for treasure. Secret doors. Okay. It's always a safe. Can't hurt anything. No secret doors. All right. Mercenaries. I mean, it looks like there's a couple different ways we can go now. This uh, this hallway could lead somewhere, but we're looking for the scepter. Okay, so crossbowmen, where should we send them? Open a door. Which one? East, west. From the, the brown parquet room. East, okay. No monsters yet. Next crossbowman, what should he do? Okay, so Robert Paulson opened the door. The other door, okay. Ooh, Chaos Warrior. Or Dread Warrior, as they're called now, but Chaos Warrior. Thought a buckler is worn on the forearm, so that you use both your hands to other for other things. Well, it probably depends on the buckler. The ones that I've seen, it's got like a hand, you're like holding it in your hand, your fist. I mean, it's almost like you're punching with it, but I guess you could make it like a gauntlet or something or, yeah, I don't know. The one that I designed, I mean, I, I took the image on from, you know, a web page, but it, it looked like, like that thing there. Yeah, maybe I'll uh, tinker with that some more. I'm, and, and I've had problems with it in the past. Like, every time I get it, people are like, eh, I don't know. I mean, it's a good idea, but it could be better. You know, like, okay. All right, so open fire on the Chaos Warrior. So three dice. Just asking. Yeah. Open to suggestions. Open to feedback. That's three skulls. So the enemy defends with four. Put one of my dice away. My bad. Sorry, I know we're getting towards the end here. Just getting a little tired. Sorry. Hey, PSK is here. The original knucklehead himself. Bonus mercenary. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, yeah. Dig it. All right. Uh, now, unfortunately, the mercenary is going to have a ways to go here. But um, any preference? I'm thinking of a swordsman. Of course, it's going to take him forever to get here. A scout wouldn't have so long to get here. Send over a crossbowman. Hey, we can always use crossbowmen. Let's see. Let's see, one, two, three. Crossbowman sword. 
Ah, oh, PSK coming in with the save. Oh, another potion and an uncommon feat. Nice. Very nice. Very awesome. <laughs> hey, I, I love it when you give me issues. That's great. Okay, so we got the uncommon feat. We got a potion. We got a mercenary. All right, let's get our potion. Right at the end. The 11th hour save. All right. Potion of healing. Half filled. So that's two lost body points restored for that one. And who are we going to give that one to? Do we have a choice? Or do you have it for a specific hero in mind? Yeah, everybody check out PSK Studio. P underscore S underscore K underscore Studio on Twitch. Love the digital version of the game so players get to roll on their own. Well, sort of. <laughs> Let them OIC. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I feel like I need it the most. So, I'm going to give it to the rogue, if that's cool. Heal plus two. And in fact, I'm just going to use it right now. I'm going to go back, back up to five. <laughs> nice. Let them pick. Yep. It's all good, man. Thanks. Okay. Uncommon feat. Oh, the uncommon... Let's say the uncommon feat would be double speed for the swordsman. How about that? Another potion. All right. He's been saving his gold. I like this guy. Everybody gets a car. Potion of Battle. If you have a really weak roll, the combat dice and attack, you may roll this blood red potion. It allows you to re-roll your attack dice once. Not losing turn, going down slide. Ooh, yeah, that's a good thought. Yeah, because we have one uncommon feat. All right. I'm not sure who should get the potion of battle. I mean, maybe the strongest attack. I'm tempted to give it to the barbarian. Of battle. All right, anything else? All right. Okay, so let's uh, let's take um, let's take Jacer's idea. Oh, it failed. Okay, so he's not going to get that bonus. That is it. Well, that was really great. So okay, let's uh, let's move the new swordsman into the into the fray. It's going to take him a while to get here, but eventually he'll get here. One, two, one. Down the slide, roll one combat die. It's a skull. Enjoy your, enjoy your slide. Ah, it ends your turn. Okay. At least we got him in the game. So once again, I wish you could rename these guys. That would be great. Give them all jolly pirate nicknames. Let me get the whole pirate crew together. Okay. All right. So let's see. We did all that. Yeah. So the crossbowman opened fire. That crossbowman opened that door. So we've got this crossbowman. So Jacer, uh, should we move him in there and try to do some damage? One, two, three, four, five, six. He's not going to make it. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Just get him as close as we can. closer yeah it's like if i if i was close enough i could cast pastor rock on him and he could he could get in there but he can't quite make it all right scout one two three four five six seven eight uh the scout though it's gonna be pretty risky i'm gonna say just probably move the scout in there in the room where everybody is do you agree
Whoops. Yep. <laughs> kind of a roundabout way of getting there, but it works. Oh, the halberder could flank from the other side. Okay. Cover that. Cover his escape. Come and get some. Get some! Alright, here comes the rogue. Fresh off of his uh, potion. Nine. Okay. If I stand over here... But the monster's not next to him, so... I should be able to throw my dagger at him from my bottomless bag of bandolier of daggers. And if I get one attack, then I get a second attack. And I can combine them into one, the way I've been doing it. So that's a two dice attack. Now I don't get any special bonus for damage because, yeah, I'm next to a hero, but I, he's not next to a hero. So just be two dice. Ah, oh, and I missed. <laughs> oh well. Tried. Alright. Are we the baddies? No, we're not. Okay, Zargon's turn. Wait, have I missed... Is anything? No, that guy went. Okay. Zargon's turn. Who's he gonna attack? Oh, he attacked this crossbowman. Okay. Misses! Hey! Nothing wrong with that. A Chaos Warrior missing. Well, soon he's going to be missing in action. Okay. Barbarian. So, three. Alright, Jacer. You can hit him. Charge! I don't know. I'm thinking Mighty Blow. What do you think? Yes, we're using our house rules with this, too. Do it! After rolling your combat dice, multiply by two. Final result. Alright, so two black, two white. Times two. Two skulls times two, so four skulls. Let's see if he can beat that. So you can one shot him. Yeah, no defense. Got him. Boom. Toasty. All right. Molly extra murder. Alright, Alchemist. He's finally gonna make his way there. What is going on? Levin. Oh, except he's gonna lose his turn. Yeah. Alright. Knight. Six. Doesn't seem to be anything else in that room. Could be secret doors, though. You want to go into the right-hand room? Six. And search for secret doors. Nothing? Okay, well, at least we know. And the rogue. Okay, so I could go in there and search for treasure, couldn't I? Of course, I could search for treasure in the room I'm in. Get a piece of equipment. I think I'm going to do that. Scout in the tunnel. Okay. 
Oh, that's time. All right, well, let's finish this round of turns. All right, with our house rule, we search. Unmarked weapons rack, and I got a hammer. This metal hammer attacks with two combat dice and may be thrown. It was lost when it's thrown. Okay, so I've got a hammer. Stronger weapon than I had before. So I can attack with one or two. I still use my daggers for throwing. And I can throw the hammer, I just, I'll lose it. Okay, scout in the tunnel. Because uh, Zargon can't do anything. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot all the other uh, mercenaries. My bad. Yeah, swordsman. Swordsman in the tunnel. You know what? Let's do an uncommon feat for him. Uh, for double movement. Haste. Skull. So he did it. So he can move 10. Okay. Alright, let's see. Okay, so the... Um, so scout into the tunnel. So do you want these uh, crossbowmen to move into the into the left corridor? Do some more exploring that way. I'm just concerned about wandering monster traps, or just traps in general. But if you put the scout in, like you suggested, now nah, I get what you're saying. Okay. All right. Well, I guess the wandering monster traps we can't detect. That's going to be... Where the third tunnel goes, okay. Third tunnel. Like way down to the south, you mean? Or do you mean up here to the north? Oh, the middle tunnel. Okay. Middle tunnel, it is. It's gonna be a long way. Well, the halberd air is closer. Let's see. Let's see one. Wait, what am I saying? She can't quite make it. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Thought the scout was close, too. Um, well, the scout can move a lot, but I put the scout into the tunnel. To the corridor. I mean, the crossbowman could search to the north. Two, three. It's a block. Okay, so there's nothing there unless there's a secret door. Moving back one. Actually, well... Ah, I'm just going to put him there. I'm just thinking if there's a wandering monster trap. Because they tend to be in corridors. Um, okay. Next one, this guy here. Towards the door. Okay. Wait. Three, four, five, six. Yeah. Something like that. Okay, and then this one. Okay, who's left? The swordsman. Okay, I think that's all the mercenaries. Um, do we skip the alchemist? 
Seriously, did we skip the alchemist? Or I'm just I'm just getting tired. Cause we're we're like five minutes past time. Um He went in the tunnel. Oh you're right, you're right. Yeah, it's like he just didn't get very far. Okay. So we'll do the rogue and then then I gotta get to bed. <laughs> but good game. Yeah. That was awesome, PSK throwing out uh Throwing out some cool uh, buys with the gold coin rewards. He's obviously been saving them for a long time. And thank you, Jacer, for playing. Six. It's cool that uh, both Strange Bus and Verg stopped by. So we got six. <sighs> hmm. We already searched for secret doors in this room, didn't we? The red room. I'm going to say secret doors in the north corridor. Does that sound good? Except I don't have enough movement to get there. Night, the night did. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I could search for treasure. Probably get a wandering monster. Well, we'll see. Won't we? Because um, that crossbowman would have him in sight. All right, I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to search for treasure. All right, and then this will be this will be it. Gold, how oh, few? Meager haul of just ten gold coins are finding in the pocket of a worn, smelly jerkin. See, I made a typo there when I printed it out. Smell jerkin. I smell jerkin. No, it's a smelly jerkin. So ten gold coins. Still, I'll take it. I'll take it over a wandering monster. The rogue is pretty lightly armored. In other words, he doesn't have any armor. All right, nice. Okay, well, that's Hero Quest fans for you t for t for this week for this weekend. Thank you. So we did our painting stream. Um, you'll just have to catch that on the replay. I think PSK will appreciate that. Um, he's a painter. Go check him out on Twitch. Uh, we can see if there's anybody we can raid. Otherwise, we're just going to save our progress here. Next time we may do the companion app or we may do the physical board game either way. Uh, it's cool. So let me just take a quick uh, snapshot here just in case it doesn't save properly. You never know what these programs these days. Sounds like something from Tron. So the search for the Scepter of Glacial Majesty continues on HeroQuest fans next time. Okay, I'm just checking. Doesn't look like any of our friends of the stream are streaming at the moment. So. All right. Okay, thanks everybody. Um, this will go up on YouTube eh, within 24 hours or so depending on when it get time to stream it. We just had a whole bunch of snow, so I got to get up early and shovel. That'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> Not really, but... But anyway, yeah. Um, check out our previous stream, and you can see how the progress I'm making on the Space Crusade uh, proxy miniatures from War uh, Warhammer 40k Fire Team, and also Gale Force 9 uh, Xenomorph Alien Warriors. Thanks, everybody game it's still dumping snow here yeah be careful out there you know there's always people that say well i have a four-wheel drive vehicle i'm a careful driver driver it's like yeah but you can't you can't control what the other guy does and honestly in the last big snowstorm i think before christmas like i mean i waited till the storm was over and the next day then i drove to see my folks and it was like every other vehicle in the ditch was a four-wheel drive you know like semi pickup truck uh, SUV. So, I mean, if, if there's ice, it doesn't matter. Sorry to say, but yeah, can be dangerous. So, especially if in a state that uh, is not used to that kind of weather, we don't really have any excuse in the state I'm in. <laughs> All right. Okay. Everybody have a great night. Have a great week. Yeah, it was fun. I, I didn't think it would happen at all. I was like, just resigned myself that we weren't going to have a game tonight. So it's special it's nice 
and great news in the world of Dungeons and Dragons. Um, a lot of people are rejoicing. A lot of people are like, "Yeah, but keep your keep your uh, keep your guard up because they might try something like this again in the future." For now, they say that the uh, open gaming license is not getting changed. It's not getting revised. Uh, so the 1.1 and the 1.2, that's just been abandoned. They got such a backlash that they're not going to do it. So that's good news. And I hope for you guys' sake that um, it continues. And I hope that Pathfinder continues to prosper um, because they want to treat their customers better than that. So there will always be some type of alternative if you like the D&D style, but you're not happy with the decisions Wizards of the Coast is making. So that's cool stuff. And who knows, keep an eye out for the world of HeroQuest because stuff's going to be happening in 2024. So, all right. Good game, good night. Take care, guys.